Unston Chambered Cairn, near Stromness in Orkney mainland, Scotland. Three and a half miles northeast of Stromness on the B965 road is Unston Chambered Cairn. This Neolithic construction dates from 3300 BC. Unston is part of a vast prehistoric complex in the Ness of Brodgar area, along with Maze Howe, Stones of Stenness and the Ring of Brodgar. It is thought local farmers built Unston as a house for the dead and for the living to visit. Over five millennia later, the tomb still exists and we can follow in our ancestors' footsteps. Situated next to the Loch of Stenness, Unston is among the oldest sites in the heart of Neolithic Orkney. The site was erected before the first buildings appeared at the Ness of Brodgar. This still image cutaway was created from a 3T digital model which combined nearly 1600 photos. A low narrow southeast orientated passage ushers you into a near rectangular main chamber. The main chamber is divided into five interval divisions by vertical stone slabs. This feature is an unusual example of a stalled cairn. Just one small cell branches off from the main chamber. The lintel above the entrance has been replaced and has a collection of ruins and a bird engraving. These carvings lightly appeared after restoration. Unston was reconstructed in 1949. The cairn has a modern concrete roof which is encased by a grass mound. This is not how the site originally looked. Unston's original exterior is similar to Tomb of the Eagles in South Ronaldsey. Artist Robert Clouston excavated in 1884. He was the first person in thousands of years to see the interior. Further excavations took place in 1937. In 1907, the Arcadian newspaper mentioned the structure was still open to the elements. Excavation revealed a jumble of human bones in all five compartments. In the side cell were two near complete crowd skeletons, which are thought to be the last people buried here. The recently departed could have been positioned in the side cell for a period then relocated to one of the five stalls. DNA tests have given us clues about the people who were laid to rest here. One man was related to the other early Arcadian inhabitants. Radiocarbon dating showed three of these people died between 5,350 and 5,100 years ago. A large collection of at least 30 pottery bowl fragments were found. These are of a design found in many Orkney tombs and now called Unstonware. Some were plain and deep, others were decorated and shallow. Some of the pottery was skillfully made of local clay long before the pottery wheel came to Orkney. The Neolithic inhabitants in Orkney understood the importance to fire soft clay into watertight pots. This enabled them to cook better and store food. The designs were engraved into the clay before firing. These geometric patterns carried important meaning echoed into Unston stonework. The original shape of Unston could have resembled an upturned bowl. The stonework in the lower walls were arranged like the patterns in the clay. The Unston ware containers likely held food and drink and may have been buried for the afterlife tributes to the ancestors or offerings to the spirit world. One of the most important Neolithic cereals called Naked Barley originated in Iran in 6000 BC. Naked Barley appeared in Orkney around 4000 BC. Traces of a meal were left in three of the pots. Analysis by scientists found dairy fats and cooking temperatures beyond 300 degrees Celsius. One of these pots contained a preserved fragment of an impression of barley grain grown to make porridge, bread or perhaps to brew an ale. Five well-made leaf-shaped arrowheads were found inside Unston. Flint was valuable and scarce in prehistoric Orkney. These may have been offerings for the spirits. Also unearthed was a flint knife. 
Unston is a fine standalone Neolithic construction in an area that was once and still is a fabulous prehistoric complex. Very close by is the Ring of Brodgar, Stones of Stenness and Maze Howe, all World Heritage Sites. We can only imagine why our Neolithic ancestors constructed Unston and what took place inside. It is possible ceremonies took place with some being for the living and some for the dead. The chamber may have been filled with chanting, drumming and scents of a long, long forgotten ritual. Unston is a magnificent achievement of multi-skilled endeavour from the ancient Orcadian inhabitants of five millennia ago. The site is in the care of Historic Environment Scotland. We can still visit it today and wonder at this cairn which has endured from deep antiquity. A big thanks to my Patreons. Please consider being a Patreon for exclusive and early access content. Please subscribe, leave a comment for a personal reply, join the Before Caledonia Facebook group and lastly, a big thanks to our ancient ancestors.